What's up, people? This is uh, Jay Carver with J Style Films, and I'm going to show you how to import your presets into Adobe Premiere. So uh, I want to start off with a clip that I already have pulled up. It's uh, Dead Man's Hand. This has no uh, glitch effect on it, which is the preset that I'm going to import into it today. So uh, let me just go ahead and start by pointing out over here. This is where you locate your presets over in the effects tab. And right now I have uh, a few custom uh, glitches, glitch presets that I've already made. So I got glitch color jump one, two and three. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I import uh, a single preset and it's going to be a glitch color jump number four. So what, I, what you want to do is uh, click on presets. This is just one way of a few different ways to do it, but this is how I do it. Click on uh, presets, right click, and then go to import presets. Wherever you have your presets stored on your hard drive, it's where you want to go. So uh, I'm going to insert glitch color jump number four. And boom, we see it is right here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this by right clicking on it, clicking delete. And I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, when you want to import multiple uh, presets. So right click on it again, import presets. And uh, all you really have to do is uh, select um, one of the presets that's actually been saved as multiple presets. So this one I named it glitch color four and five. I actually say when I actually exported out the presets, I saved all of them uh, combined. So now when I import this particular uh, preset, you'll see that I have an additional uh, color glitch color jump four and number five or whatever. So that's how you import the um, the uh, presets. Make sure that you're actually you know importing the preset and not uh, another you know type of format. It's uh, the Adobe uh, format. So um, I'll show you how to apply it real quick. So I have two clips here. Um, you know, one is a dead man's hand, and this is the dude after he's been killed or shot or uh, robbed or whatever. So I'm gonna um, put my playhead uh, right here and I'm gonna apply a glitch color jump number four and really just drag it on here and this is actually about five or six uh, frames long actually I've uh, added a description on these custom presets that you can download and when you hover over it you'll see that you'll get a um, a little hover that says seven frames long and you know six frames long uh, five frames long, etc. etc. This is just kind of what I've done with the uh, free glitch pack that you can download from my site. I'll put a description down below if you're seeing this video out of context and uh, not along with the uh, promo that I just did where I'm giving away five uh, glitch presets for free. So, uh, so I've applied this, and now you can kind of see once I hit play, you got a little glitch effect. Boom. So I don't have any sound effects up here yet or anything like that. I'll leave that to you guys. But um, the best way to do this, and I'll just kind of do Control Z. When you want to do a glitchy effect and have this kind of continuously throughout, uh, you want to duplicate the actual footage. And uh, you see where I just kind of duplicated this clip. And uh, I'll go ahead and do both of them. And uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm holding Option, uh, you know, and... Uh, dragging this up, just left clicking on it and dragging it up. So I'm going to select this top clip. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a couple of spots where I want to cut. So I'll hit C, hit the cut tool or the uh, blade tool, move it over a few more frames. I'll cut again. And this is just completely uh, random. And um, I'll go over this to this clip too and uh, kind of cut. And I'll show you what I'm what I'm getting at. What I'm going to do is just really apply a few different presets to each individual clip. So uh, no particular uh, order. I'll do jump cut five here, 
glitch noise um, I'll put that here uh, glitch noise I'll put that here I need to do this third one boom uh, boom and uh, just gonna fill up uh, each one of these clips all right cool so with that being done now if I play this back I've got you know this so you can imagine what it'll be like if you add um, you know whatever sound effects I won't get into that but this is just a quick little uh, tutorial to show you how to import the glitch presets that I'm giving away for free and um, also how to apply it also one more quick thing you can apply multiple uh, presets to the to any individual clip so like this second clip right here let me zoom in some right now I just have one preset set to that uh, I'll go ahead and add two uh, you know so I'll actually I'll put three this will be just really unpredictable but um now I've got a different you know glitch effect than what I just had a few seconds ago and uh, before it was it looked like this and then when I added uh, I forget which one is I just added to it but I'll add a couple of more to it so now it's not gonna look exactly the same so boom uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it and um, hope this uh, makes sense and uh, once again I have some free uh, glitch presets for Adobe Premiere. I put them in the uh, description and you can uh, link and uh, click the link and download it. If you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, give me a like, subscribe, comment, do something, make some type of activity. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. Um, other than that, it is, as you can see, 2.44 a.m. and I'm about to crash. So enjoy and peace.